Katia V5, Shape Sculptor. We're gonna check brush smoothing. So as we can see, this will be very similar to smooth, which I presented within my previous video. The only difference between smooth and brush smooth is that within brush smooth we have a radius that we can set over here, for example, five millimeters. Afterwards, we can set the same pressure like um, within the smoothing tool. And over here we have two types of uh, brass smoothing. So the first one will be flat and this will tend to become flatter as uh, we continue to smooth a certain area. There's also the possibility to use the round option and this will keep the mesh um, within the initial uh, rounded shapes. For example, I have the 3D scan um, of the hand over here from Artex Studio. I will put the the link in the video description. So let's get started. I will initially start with flatten with a radius of 5 and pressure of 10 uh, of 100. And if I will move the mouse around the model, we're going to see how that mesh will be smoothed. Now, as you can see, the computer is lagging a little bit when uh, dealing with the smoothening. But now, depending on the radius um, and the um, area that I will smooth, the mesh will become flattened over here. So all those vertices that define the shape will go to the same height using the flatten option. There is also the possibility to use the round option. I will smooth on the part over here. Again, we see that the mesh is um, slowly getting smoothed. Since it's a brush tool, we need to move the mouse back and forth in order to do the brushing. And we're gonna take a look afterwards at the resulting mesh. You can also go with a lower pressure, for example, 10, but this will require additional um, passes in order to have that area smoothed. So we see how over here on the, um, on the end of the palm, we see those flattened areas. Now, the brush tool within Katia is quite limited. Therefore, I'll, I have over here Open Blender and I will import the same uh, model. So from the desktop will be the hand model. And let's take a look at how uh, smoothing works over here in Blender. So keep that in mind that this software is um, free and also open source. So we have the STL mesh of the hand over here. If I will check the statistic, we're going to see that the same um, complexity as the one in Katia. So let me type over here information. And we're going to see that the mesh will be the same. So we see the number of triangles, the number of points. It will be the same model. Now within Blender, we have the possibility to go within the sculpting environment over here at the top. And as we can see, the model will uh, load better and we can also work with it better in real time. Within the sculpting mode by default, if you're going to hold down shift and you're going to do that um, mouse movement in order to do the brushing, this will do the smoothening. So we have already the possibility to even uh, grab. So something that is not available uh, that easy in Katia. But we also have the possibility to use the flatten, for example. So this will work similar to the flatten from Katia smooth. So this first option, as we can see over here, flatten. And this will take the mesh to the same uh, level. For example, if I will start um, flattening this region and I will move that. So let me just go because I was within the draw mode. So I want the flatten mode. And we see how that area will become, uh, let's say, uh, flatten. The main advantage is that over here we have a better performance. So even though I'm on the same computer, I have Katia loaded over here, I have Blender over here, we see how smooth it goes over here. We also have the possibility to use inflate or blob in order to add geometry in uh, various areas. 
And afterwards we can smoothen that out using the, um, the shift key or the smooth tool. And there are a lot more uh, tools over here available within, uh, within the sculpting environment. So this was regarding uh, brush smoothing Katia. I also highly encourage you to give Blender a try when you are dealing with um, STL meshes because in my case I find it a lot more, uh, let's say, user-friendly and usually it provides a better functionality. Okay, so I will position a similar video over here on the left. I will add this to the Katia V5 tips and tricks and I will also add a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.